heard there from Fernandinho talking about just how tough this game is. You've got vast experience in the Champions League, vast experience of two-legged matches. How do you balance that need to score goals and the all-out attack approach against knowing that conceding could make the tie nigh on impossible to come back from? Yeah, good morning. Uh, of course, to, to, to go through, you have to make almost the perfect game. So create a lot of chances, be clinical when you create the chances, concede few chances, and the chances we're going to receive, you know, defend well and our keeper save it, uh, all the conditions. So you have to make the almost perfect game to, to go through because the result is tough. It's with zero, but you have 90 minutes in football, in all the sports, basketball, in all the sports, everything can happen. So only we can do and know what we are going to do is try it. And we'll see. Of course, we don't have to think about how many goals you have to score. You have to score the first one. And have to try to make the second one. And we'll see if uh, the momentum, the good momentum that's happened in the Champions League, try to, to do it longer as possible. And, and we're going to see. Do you feel that your players have been damaged psychologically by what happened at Anfield and then what happened at the weekend? So I don't know, but... Uh, if we are not able to do that psychologically, it will be a good lesson for the future because we are not here for just a few months or for a long period, especially that players. And uh, we are going to see that is a good test. Football, like life, is a challenge and is new one. And we are happy to handle it. And we're going to see what happens because the result is tough, but it, another result in Anfield will be tough as well. So because everything can happen. You know what we have to do to try to attack, to, of course, to try to avoid the counterattacks. And we have 90 minutes plus extra time. And uh, what we show in this year, even in the last game, we are able to create a lot of chances in a few, few, few minutes. And we know that. And the opponents know that. One second. No, sorry, one second. Sorry. Just here first, please. Hi. Um, we know what happened outside the stadium last week. Um, there is still some anger about about that. How important is it that your supporters create the kind of atmosphere that helps you tomorrow, but but do not get involved in what we might call revenge outside the stadium? No, but since I am here, never happened wrong in that stadium. I think the people and the opponents arrive in the bus in the right way, so no problem at all. It is not going to happen. So I think you are not going to ask me like you asked me in Liverpool tomorrow is going to be tough because the, the fans is going to... You knew that and unfortunately happened because I don't know where were the police. I think tomorrow the police will know exactly what they have to do for, you know, the Liverpool fans from player fans arrive in the stadium and play football game. That is what I wish. That is going to happen. And as, of course, to the... To our fans, it's just a football game. Try to support us to come here, to enjoy the game. Do they know everything can happen? Because even in the last game, when we was 2-3, the reaction for the players was outstanding again to create the chances until the last minute. And, and after that, they can applaud, they can boo, they can do whatever he wants and move forward. And six games left, we have to win, we have to take five points to win the champion, the Premier League. And, we're going to do that. Are you still angry that your safety and your players' safety was put in put in danger, even though we kind of knew what might happen? When what happened last week? Mm. No, it's happened. It's happened. I, you know, my statement when I said after the game, the day after, so it's over. So nothing to to add. Yeah, you did a really good first half this uh, Saturday and a quite good uh, second half to Wednesday uh, facing Liverpool. Now you sort of have to combine those two to, to create that perfect game. What is the perfect game scenario for you and do you find it positive, challenging, knowing that you have to do the game of the year? But the perfect scenario is it goes through, but uh, what do you have to do? So you have to part in an emotional game, but the, mo the game for itself will create that moment. I think it's always to try to, you know, to give a, a plan. It depends of we know each other. Every time we play against Liverpool, you know, we know each other. Maybe we'll be closer to, to you know, to, to play better, to beat them. So it's, uh, at the end, we cannot forget it's just a simple game. 
and focus on every single minute what we have to do. So it's the best, the best way to, you know, to play the game. And after the situations, the motion, uh, you are able to score a goal. And we can see the goal is don't give up, don't give up. That, it, that you know, it's m more than 90 minutes, and uh, and we 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 didn't. We did many times, not just one or twice or three times. We did many times. We can, in a short time of period, create chances, create chances, create chances. And, uh, and after, you have to be clinical there. But even we are not clinical, OK, move. Next one, next one, next one. That is what we have to think about tomorrow. Bon dia, Pep. Uh, Daniel Junés, de Fox Sports. So Sorry, questions with, in Spanish we'll take at the end. Ah. Do your players, you mentioned it last week, do your players believe they can do this? And what have you said to them to make them believe they can do it? But I think, I think that the competition for itself to reach the semi-final would be the second time in our beautiful history. Second time in, 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 to be there, it's enough. I don't think you have to talk too much about the motivation or how beautiful it is. So the way they play all the season, all the season and every single game, show what they want to do. So I know when we judge the results, but the performance. So my team is extraordinary. So my team is no comparable for many others. You know, it's, it's top. My team is exceptional. So I will be close to them no matter what happened here and to the end of the season. So it's a joy to be manager of the team, even three days ago, the way we played. So I'm so delighted, so delighted. So compare 90 seconds, the first one or two goals against United, OK. And all the families can happen. So after the first goal we, we, we did against United, what happened the last 25, 23 minutes, the, the amount of game we create, the chances we create, all is what we have to do. And after score goals and no goals is the most difficult thing. You have to, you know, to defend a little bit better because score goals is the most difficult thing. To defend well, we can solve quicker, you know, uh, and do it. So I'm so delighted to, you know, to lose the way, for example, we lose against United. So I don't want to lose. I, we were sad. We are sad because for our fans to be champion, but we have more sick chances to do that. But the way we played, even after two, three, to react in that position, our pressure, you know, to be champion at home for our fans. The way we played is outstanding. I'm so happy. So I, I cannot, I cannot say anything else about that. Paul. Hi, Pep. You, you've obviously scored more goals than anyone else in the Premier League this season, and you've scored, you know, you've scored, you know, four or five on. A couple of occasions as well. How much confidence does that give you, knowing that you do, when it does click, you can score that amount of goals? Yeah, I'm more concerned. It's not just the goals we 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 have, you know, we have made. You know, the, the chances we have created. The only concern is really that this amount of chances to be high percentage average to score the goals in that game. So tomorrow, Liverpool is a really well defense organized. We saw in the in the second half there. In, in Anfield, so they are a top team. They, it's not easy to, to create them chances, but we're going to try. Hi, Pep. You, you've often talked about Manchester City not having quite the same history as other clubs in the Champions League, and that's what you want to build. If you were to go through on Tuesday, that would be a historic night for this club, and it would help elevate yeah, Manchester City. So can, can you use the sort of dream of that to inspire your players? I think they know it, but that I'm completely agree. So we need titles in Europe, or because that is so complicated. But to to win titles, you need to start to, you know, nights like for example, it was for us. You know, the people has to understand it. So to beat Barcelona, for example, last season was so special because we know Barcelona is the best team in the world, the best team in the world, and and to beat them is create that and make, you know something you create, but. Sooner or later, that is going to happen. Maybe not tomorrow, but what this club have done in the last 10 years in terms of, of, of create that amazing facilities, of course, with a lot of investment, but a lot of people working here with desire to make it bigger, bigger, bigger. Sooner or later, that is going to happen. But to qualify, you know, for the big clubs in the, in the world, you need 
a lot of time, but hopefully we can do it. It is not happen this season. Maybe we will be next. If not, maybe we will be next. But sooner or later, that is going to happen in that club. Hi, Pep. Uh, are Liverpool the last team you want to play when you're chasing a game? Are they like the worst possible opponent when you're three 0 down and their ability on the counter attack? Is that the worst team? Yeah. Yeah, it's one of the worst. But if you play in that level against Barcelona, Madrid, would you know would say the same or Bayern Munich. So I think when we arrive in quarterfinals, the Champions League, you see the draw and you see all the teams. Say all of them, they are, they are, they are tough. They are tough. So of course they are his own qualities, but the other teams in that level also they have it. Pep, does it does it concern you a bit that over the past five seasons? In your Champions League knockout games, Bayern Munich against Real Madrid, Bayern Munich against Barcelona, Monaco last season, Liverpool this season, you've, you've had these spells where you've conceded two, three goals in 10, 15, 20 minutes mm. and the game's done. How big a concern is that for you going into this game, particularly yeah, given lot. that you'll have to attack? Yeah, a lot, a lot. We, we reflect and we spoke and we thought, I thought, or we were, I reflect or I... Uh, that's happened, that's true. But happen in all the families, not only here. In all the families, even the big clubs happen that in that competition immediately score. And after, there are many, many circumstances. So I went to the final for the Champions League, one shoot on target. I didn't went to the final of the Champions League with 33 shoots on target. So the football is sometimes unpredictable. So only we can do is the intention and create this amount, amount of game to create a lot of chances. But that, that's true. Because that competition is how you handle that emotions. Yeah. and do that but uh, all the teams happen that so even in the good teams not that season the previous in the previous it would happen in the future even the best teams in the world sometimes you concede one goal and immediately you concede three or four so not happen just here and, and Otamendi's had a Otamendi's had an excellent season for you but a, a particularly difficult past couple of games is there any concern about his form going into this game and Laporte Obviously, played at left back, hasn't had a go at centre half. John Stones wasn't even in the squad at the weekend. Is, is there any consideration to change at the back, given what you've seen? Maybe I'm going to. I have an uh, idea what we have to do tomorrow, what the guys are going to do. But in case from Nico, when a player does what uh, he has done, only we can do is to be to be close to him. Uh, because uh, Nico is just, is not just for the huge quality, it's a huge mentality. Uh, I, I manage when they are in troubles or the trouble because I don't think it's a trouble. Of course, the, the third goal it was a mistake. They have to close the back from Nico and they did him back, you know. But the other was so, so good. So for the build up, for example, in the third goal, he lose the ball after happening a lot, a lot of things. And I think there are a lot of mistakes after that, you lose the ball. It's true, the third goal, he has to defend his back and uh, he stay there. But uh, we are here in quarterfinals, you know, 13 points in front for goal difference. Again, second in the Premier League for Nico Tamendi was one of the reasons, more important reasons why. Uh, Pep, yeah. just to follow on from James's question there, um, in, in regards to John Stones, he, he appears to be fourth choice now in terms of central defensive position. Is that a worry for you? Should it be a worry for him that he can't even get in the squad on Saturday? No, no, because uh, I'm going to tell you. So, John was the with Nico the first part of the season, the first six months was the best, no, the, I don't know, the best couple of respect for the other central defenders in the world, but wasn't the best central defender. After they had an injure, an injure uh, a, national, a national team when it was six Eight weeks, six weeks, eight weeks off, a lot of time. And after he came back, he had a little bit problem to the confidence. The reason why he was out in the last games is because Vinny and Nico was so, so good playing in that situation. And that's happened during the season. They see there are players in better position or they play and that's why. And the last season, the last game have a conclusion in a, in a, in a, what, what, in national team again. He could not play in Everton. He was seven days without training session. And after I came back, in the two days or three days before the, the game against United, when exercise felt something we had again in national team in his, in his abductor, it was not mm. perfect. 
and I decide don't take a risk. But of course, he is not in the same level with uh, Aime, with uh, Bini, with uh, with Nico. But he knows the confidence I have with him and how good he has done in two years, especially this season. Especially, I think he grew up. He make a step forward about his mentality and quality and play regularly every three days. And of course, he has to fight with the, his guys to to convince me to be ready to play. That is the reason why he was not in in the in the selecting team against United. Okay, last couple in English, please, before Spanish just here. Hi, Pep. Is, Hi. Hi, is Sergio ready to start now? And was he hurt at all in that tackle from Ashley Young? He's diving. Uh, Pep, you, you spoke about it maybe being a valuable lesson for your players if you don't go through Sorry? it. You spoke about it, you said it would be a valuable lesson if you don't go through, you'll learn from it tomorrow. Yeah. Do, you've coached two Champions League winning sides at Barcelona. Do you feel this team has got, at the moment, the, the knowledge and the experience and the maturity to, to A, go through tomorrow night? And that team is ready to fight for all the teams in the Europe. All the teams. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure of that, but... You know, the mountain you have to climb is, is high, really high. They are so good, the teams. And, and you know, and you know uh, it's difficult. But I think we can compete for all the teams in Europe, especially at home. But the next step, maybe we need a little bit more time. But we did it better than last season. And my feeling now, next season will be better than that season. So sometimes you need a little bit process of steps to, to achieve or to be not just the players, all the club, all the city, all our fans, we are good enough, we are ready to, to try it. My feeling in Anfield, we compete really good, really good. But 27 minutes, arrive two times, score two goals, always is tough, it's tough. We try to avoid that mistakes, especially in the first goal, in the second, Chamberlain was outstanding, the shoot by the first, especially the first goal, you need sometimes more time, so we have to accept that. But, it's 90 minutes. Bon dia, Pep. Yeah. Daniel Gironès, de Fox Sports. Eres un entrenador motivador. En un pasado eh, habías utilizado incluso vídeos como, bueno, películas como Gladiator, Coldplay. Eh, ¿Has pensado eh, en ponerles a tus jugadores el 6 a 1 del Barça a Paris Saint-Germain o tienes algún otro tipo de motivado? No. Hablaremos del partido, del fútbol y de, y de lo bien que lo hemos hecho. No. Hola, buenas, Pep. Uh, vas dir que el Liverpool per estil és un dels equips que us ha posat més complicat. Uh, en pots explicar uh, per què creus això? Les seves transicions són molt ràpides. Els tres de davant plus Chamberlain són, són molt ràpids. Uh, no et donen temps de fer el, els retorns, els backwards, uh, i són molt bons els de dalt. Són molt bons de parats a l'espai i golejadors. Uh, Firmino és un jugador fantàstic quan ve a jugar, els altres dos són van de totes les maneres, són golejadors, eh, per això són tan, tan complicats. I el Klopp, eh, amb una, eh, després de que us guanyessin amb el 4-3, crec que va dir que la millor manera d'atacar-vos és eh, venir-vos a buscar. Tens aquesta sensació que quan us ataquen és quan us poden fer més mal, no quan us esperen? Em sembla que aquest any ens han jugat de totes les maneres possibles. Ens han atacat i ens han defensat i amb tots ens han sortit. És a dir, a mi no em farà confondre ni per un instant aquests dos últims resultats, sobretot l'últim del que hem fet, el que som com a equip. És a dir, això, si el que jutja resultats, jutja resultats, està molt bé, però eh, el que em dóna, em dóna la tranquil·litat, inclús perdent un altre partit, i un altre, i un altre, i un altre, és el que fem durant els 90 minuts. I els 90 minuts tinc poques coses a a millorar, evidentment, perquè quan guanyàvem 18 partits seguits em dèieu que érem invencibles i jo sempre pensava que hi ha coses a millorar, doncs és el mateix cas. Sempre penso que, que ho podem fer, però no, no em canvia l'opinió del que hem arribat a fer i sobretot del que vam fer l'últim partit, que va ser amb un rival que és el segon de la Lliga, amb molts canvis a l'equip. Va ser simplement extraordinari com vam jugar contra el United. Extraordinari. First, um, I want to ask you, you said in, in another press conference that the, the City's way of playing suits perfect uh, to Liverpool. Can you explain us why? Well, basically, the, their transitions are really quick. Uh, three in front, plus Oxlade Chamberlain, and they are all really, really quick. You don't have time to, to go backwards. The, the great uh, players they have in front, they, they run at the space, they score. Firmino is a top scorer. They have quick players like uh, Sadio Mane and Salah. That's why they are so difficult. And the second one, 
Klopp said after the 4-3 in the Premier League that the best way to attack you is to come in after you. Do you think that's what he's going to try to do tomorrow? Well, to be honest, uh, the opening teams, I, they play against us always. This season, they attacked us, they defend us, and yet we succeed. So what happened in Anfield is not going to confuse me the way we, we have to play uh, as a team. What gives me calm is what we do or what we've done during the, the 19 minutes over the, the pitch. And I have few things to regret, of course. Uh, there's always things to, to improve. But uh, what happened, for example, on, on Saturday is not going to change my opinion uh, about what we've done uh, about all the season or what we did on Saturday, because our team, my team, did an extraordinary game. Thank you, guys. Thank you.